just going to say that, Donnie. He covered a lot of ground before he got a hold of him. Didn't look like he was that far out. That steer just ran really hard. Now, watch this. He's a little out of position. Check the arm strength out. He's laying flat of his back and flattens his 700-pound steer just like, hey, nobody's business. Wham. Six seconds flat, five and one, still holding on to first place. Taylor Webb is getting set to go, and before the rodeo, Pam Minnick caught up with him. Okay, he's a coach, a uh, wrestling coach. Well, it's near as much as he'd like. Things like that have been happening during the steer set. He just missed that inside horn, and, you know, that went from a possible four-second run to a no time. And it just runs like that. It spurts, doesn't it, Donnie? You just never know. He starts down. He's leaning a little bit too far forward. And I think that's what happens to you as you get to do that till you get one horn hung in it. Lee Spencer looks like he was born to wrestle steers, trying to beat five and one. Well, you saw his time. That doesn't indicate the talent or ability. He's going to break that tonight, lays one down and find that. So he looked back up there at the top block on the wall. So that's more like it. Gets a five and nine. Doesn't beat that five and one, but a good time. He looks a little disappointed, Donnie, like he wanted something quicker, but I thought he got it done in short order. Well, he makes a quick catch, a little out of position, but now he wants his steer to fall, and he's really got a strain and laying down. It didn't really come together. And it... Looking at the first cowboy getting set to go, Jack Hodge, and he has drawn Bunny Rabbit. He lives in a nice town. They call it Blossom, Texas. But Bunny Rabbit is not near as sweet as she sounds. You see, got her tied in there. The little tough gets a good start. All right, Mr. Hodge. Oh! You don't want to start that way, Jackson. Well, Jack just, uh, I don't know what to say, Donnie. No score. Got his head down. He just bailed out to the right, it looks like. Just got his right foot looked like it must have just hung either in the rain or just up there in the shoulder. But you see that red flag. The judge on the left side had gotten him for the no mark out. And he might have seen that and just went ahead and took, take his fall. But I wouldn't have done that. Shane Gobranson from Snyder, Texas is on Hollywood Gold. Going to college at Snyder, Texas. Rodeo on a college scholarship. Good way to get your way through there and get an education. Do this just for fun. Make a little money. Hey, girls like it. Look at the cat. And it was kind of a hit and miss deal with the spurring that time for Shane, Donnie. Started to go on and had his problems. The judges now are going to give him a score. We got first one, 67. 67 points. You see those shafts. Uh, these boys are Australian uh, originate. Uh, I mean, you know, here these guys aren't from Texas, but they're coming down here riding bucking horses. <laughs> that was well put, Donnie. <laughs> well, hey. We're moving now. I mean, Joe the guys are Aussie, and I don't want to make it sound like I don't like them. <laughs> Joe Spearman is drawing tumbleweed. He's talking him to him. Give him just a all right, he's talking about getting his horse to stand up a little bit. He, Joe's got all kinds of credentials. Former national finalist, he's got this horse terrorized. He wouldn't come out. Here we go, Joe Spearman. Now a ride a Bronx. Toes turned out. Good body yeah. position. Horse bucking real good. Going to see a lead change. I like it. I like it. He's been a ski season champion in 85, national final contestant 82. He's won second here with a 73. He's going to be better than that. Trying to beat 67 should be no problem. The judges give Joe Spearman a score of 74. All right, Joe. He had his problems. Broke his leg pretty bad a couple years ago. It's really not been on the trail. He's having trouble getting everything going. Looking good tonight. Makes a nice bronc ride. There's, we'll just be quiet and watch this. That's why he rides bucking on very nice and joe now the man to beat as we go to shoot number five donnie this cowboy used to be here all the time at the ski texas and it is jim batman getting set to ride he's on mud creek season champion in 84 mud creek just decides to stall they're trying to get him out they're going to wait on him because he's a good draw okay batman give him the spur oh look out look out oh keep rolling my goodness he hit pretty hard he just hung in the back of that saddle whipped him up I really was pulling for Jim. I thought he had turned things around, but a no score tonight for a good bronc rider. And he went right over the head in those first three or four steps, Don. He hit air. He didn't even hit dirt till about the fifth one. Now, he, watch his back foot hang to yeah. the back of that saddle, then get just flipped out over the dashboard, down in there, and uh, that's tough because he knew he had a money ride horse here. Right foot looking pretty good, tips him up there. There's no way to be graceful when you have to take a fall like that. 
We move along to Desgo Branson. He's coming up next. We had a chance to talk with him before the rodeo. Desgo Branson is a saddle bronc rider and recently made a long journey here from Australia. What made you decide to come to the U.S.? Well, just to come over and try out these horses over here and uh, see how I'd go over here against these the top in the world over here now and uh, just basically to see how I'd go. We'll, we'll see how it goes yeah, ourselves here, Donnie. He's on Sheep Herder. Well, like I tried to say a while ago before I stepped on my on my lip, you know, I like these guys. They come over here, they rodeo a lot in Australia, makes a good bronc ride, gets around the corner in pretty good shape. Sheep Herder does a good job for him. The Joel Branson brother's going to go to school over here in the U.S. I'd, I'd work on that get-off, you know, you could get kicked like that. But these Australians, these guys come over here, they tough. Long-legged, trying to beat 74, doesn't do it, gets a 71. Watch it back, there's a good shot of the spur out. Big, long-legged guy riding bronc, you know, and it makes it tougher on them. Yeah. They got a lot to move, and this horse coming around pretty fast. He's in time with him. Good body position. I like the way he rides. He's got a, he's got a lot of ability. We have one more saddle bronc rider coming up for you. It's Todd Watkins from Odessa, Texas. The horse is Cowboy. It's a good horse. You've seen we bucked this horse in the bareback or the saddle bronc riding. He's about 21 years old, darn near as old as Todd. Todd Watkins, college cowboy. I uh, used to rodeo with his daddy. Oh, he hung in the front end a little bit. Now he gets Ooh. back in there. Come on, Todd. Yeah. Keep firing. He's a reaching and going for it. Really, really trying to extend himself. Gets down, shakes it off. He had to work for that one. Yeah, I was just going to say, Donnie, he really hung in there and stayed with it, trying to beat 74 points. The judges give Todd Watkins a 75. It was worth all the effort, 75 points. Had him bucked off, had him stood up, but he just never did ever quit going to the front end. And, you know, and the judges like to see that. I mean, here's a guy, you would normally, a guy will safety up. You'll hold in the back of the saddle. You'll miss one of those strokes. And what? He stands him up. He just keeps reaching, keeps reaching, don't weaken. You know, and, and that makes the difference. That separates the men from the boys right there. Watch this again on this side. Good spur out. Starts real quick, right in time. The horse just changes direction, jumps and kicks, messes up the timing. That's when you got a cowboy up and go for the goal right there. Todd Watkins does a good job. And first section, hopefully the second will be even better. Scott Wilkins on J.